Yo guys, how's it going? Attacking Toucans here, your boy Tyler. Making this video to announce a big live stream I'm doing tomorrow with a bunch of friends and homies over at the dance studio that I attend in Los Angeles. So, quick little story is over COVID, the dance studio had to be closed for almost two years, yet we still have to back pay all of the rent for all of this time. And fortunately, the landlord is giving us a couple years to catch up, but it is a lot and business has been pretty active, but it's just not enough with all this inflation to keep the place open. So uh, I am using my platform that I have as a YouTuber to bring people together so we can raise money for this dance studio and keep it open because no joke, it is one of the most magical places I have ever been in my entire life. So many amazing things happen here. So many lives are changed. And the best thing about this studio is it's one of the most inclusive spots that people can go to in the whole entire South Bay. It's inclusive of all ages. We have lots of dancers from children all the way to elders. We have classes for elders and there's elders like dancing. It's really, really awesome. Um, all sexualities, all types of people. It's just a really wonderful place and I would be really, really upset if it closed down. So I am doing everything in my power to try to keep this place open so people can continue learning the art of dance and being able to experience this wonderful facility. So what I'm going to be doing is we're gonna be streaming for at least eight hours tomorrow. We're gonna to be doing a mixture of dancing and playing video games. So the things we'll be dancing to is viewers watching can donate money to the GoFundMe that we have for the studio. And if you donate, you can make a song request and we will freestyle dance to it. And you can request any song you want. Even if you think it's like the weirdest, hardest song to dance to in the world, donate and request that song and we will do our best to make it look good. <laughs> we did this last year as well and there was so many hilarious moments. We were dancing to music like Linkin Park, like lots of rock music movie soundtracks, video game soundtracks, anime soundtracks. People were throwing just so much weird music at us, yet we were still rolling with it. And it was a fantastic time. And then in between dancing, we're gonna be playing some video games, like some social games. I'll probably play some Zelda randomizers as well because you know my audience loves their Zelda randomizers and I love my Zelda randomizers. And I kind of want to show my friends at the studio like what Zelda randomizers are like. But we'll play some like Jackbox, Pictionary, like a little bit more fun social games along those lines. This studio and this cause mean a whole lot to me because I've dealt with a lot of just depression from COVID and moving to a new city and then being locked up. So this dance studio has actually been where like my family and community has been. And I honestly don't even know if I'd be alive today if this dance studio didn't exist because they literally like, it pulled me out of some dark places because of the, like the people here are just so, so, so amazing. Words can't describe all of the positive energy that I have gained from this studio. The people here feel like family and I'm really excited to showcase a lot of the awesome energy that we have boiling up and brewing in this studio by doing this live stream and allowing you guys to watch and interact and make us dance to lots of weird songs. We'll also be having donation incentives for reaching our goals. Our end goal is $5,000. And if we reach that, we are going to be doing an old school ice bucket challenge. I think ice bucket challenges are pretty dang funny. So I thought we would bring it back for this if we could raise money and secure the future of this dance studio so future generations can experience the facility, learn how to dance, feel accepted, give them something to do, and so on and so forth. This dance studio has also given me lots of opportunities to grow as a dancer, an artist, and as a videographer. I've been helping film and edit lots of videos that showcase the classes that are happening at this studio. And even though we have a lot of activity happening at this place, the inflation and cost of living in Los Angeles has just been so high, it has been quite a struggle to keep it open. So we're trying to be a little bit forward thinking, trying to expand our minds and incorporate new futuristic methods of raising money to keep the arts alive. Because I'm sure lots of people know, it's hard to keep the arts alive. It's expensive, takes a lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of community, and a lot of support from just people around the world to make this happen. 
So tomorrow I will be live streaming from 1 p.m., around 1 p.m., loosely, assuming that all the technology works. I'm gonna aim for 1 p.m. Pacific time to start, and we'll be going for around eight to nine hours. And then if we hit our goal of $5,000, We'll actually do a second day on Saturday and continue it going because it should be really fun and I would like to continue the momentum if people are interested in what we're doing. <laughs> but yeah, I am super excited about this. Thank you for watching. If you would like to come drop by and support the stream tomorrow, either just by watching and commenting in chat and just giving us some love or by being able to give us a little bit of money if you have the financial means to do so. I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching Two Clan Forever. Let's keep the arts alive. And I will see you on the live stream. Take care, guys.